for those who don't know, for those who don't know what's going on, um, and if you are watching this on YouTube, Sketches is getting exposed uh, for allegedly having a gay OnlyFans before, like, he rose to fame. Um, and the the way this was exposed was so crazy. So crazy, bro. Um, once again, these are allegations right now. Nothing is confirmed. However, the evidence is... I can't lie. People have cross-referenced as much as they can. I found all the different clues. Does not look like AI and all, all of these different things. But I'm, I'm going to say it's alleged till otherwise. But after investigating some usernames and locations about Sketch, I traced back his old Twitter accounts and deleted tweets. His cash app. So someone found his old cash app. I was in his Twitter bio. I put that same cash app in my browser and it directed me to a cash app, uh, to this cash app profile, Casey, standing for Kylie Cox, which is uh, Sketch's real name. Um, and then, essentially, he found this deleted Twitter, um, 18 plus NSFW. You got the rainbow flag on there. Um, and essentially, the allegations is that uh, Sketch, Sketch uh, one, is gay, right? And number two, you used to have OnlyFans, and now the internet is just, the internet is just going crazy. The internet is just going crazy. So, um, there is a lot to speak on. Um, also, little to speak on at the same time. But I want to watch a YouTube video. Um, and it's 17-minute 17, 17 video from a channel with less than 10,000 subs. This is probably less than 5,000 prior to yesterday. But let's go ahead and watch it, bro. This is This is crazy. This is crazy. Cox, known online as Sketch or the Sketch Reel, was previously an LGBTQ plus adult content creator. He used names like Jamie Mar HTXXX, Jamie Mar TX, Jamie Mar NSFW, and Jamie's Code Tour to create and promote content on places like OnlyFans as well as X, formerly known as Twitter. This video was awkward to write. And it was just as awkward to put images together for and edit. You just didn't have to do it. You just if if it, if it was that awkward, you just didn't need to to do it. Like no one no one said, "Yo, yo, where where's the where's the sketch vid?" Like I'm positive that awkwardness will translate into the viewing experience. So I appreciate you for watching and sharing if you see fit. I also want to add all the information and visuals are if you see fit. He can't he can't even explain like what this does. Like he can't he can't even explain what this like is it exposing something bad about No, it's just exposing something that he didn't want you to know. But damn. Listen, all, all, all I know is coming out already is already such a big thing in the LGBTQ community. For you to even, like, take that option, to take that, like, power away from him to come out whenever he feels comfortable is crazy. But Sourced from public content sites like OF, like Reddit, like X. None of this was pulled from Kylie Cox's personal life or personal data this was all things that kylie created and shared in his previous attempt to become internet famous prior to his content creation under the moniker of sketch i sat on this story for a couple of weeks i was unsure if, if i really needed to create it and share it with the world however i did go to school for journalism and nj school they taught us if a story meets the standards of timeliness proximity interest controversy, sensationalism, prominence, and novelty, according to Shoemaker at all 1980. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. This is the justification? The, you, 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 try, you, try, you try to put this on your resume? What the? Yo, bro, what? Timeliness. Recognizes the timeliness of critical news. Proximity. The closer an event to... <sighs> Interest. 
This is just what makes for a good story. This is not justification to make a story. What? Are we serious? Are we serious right now, bro? Needs to be shared with the public. For those of us unfamiliar with Kylie Cox, he's a native Houstonian and Texan who once upon a time played linebacker at the Wood. All right, gang, I'm going to need to at the very least put you at 1.25, bro. Uh -uh. Christian Academy. He's a member of the Kappa Sigma fraternity at Mississippi State University. He later transferred to the University of Oklahoma, then Texas State and Lone Star College before ultimately deciding academics was not for him. At some point in 2023, Cox created the character Sketch and started to live stream himself playing Madden NFL on TikTok. He did this for a few months, and then one day, overnight seemingly, his catchphrase, What's up, brother, went viral and made him a sensation. Since then, 2024 has been a major year for Kylie Cox. He's partnered with people like the Houston Texans, Kai Sinat and AMP, Fortnite, Jinxie, other sports teams like the Dallas Mavericks, Tennessee Titans, and March Madness, and other people have been seen doing his What's Up Brother emote, if you will, uh, the likes of Bryce Harper, Johan Rojas, Bo Naylor, Kyle Tucker, just to name a few. All right, we already know who's coming. For those of you unfamiliar with my channel, I love to connect popular media with old school philosophy or even new school philosophy. Most times I'll watch a movie, read a book, or watch a TikTok and then see what's the underlying belief system in that TikTok and create a nice video about it. I wanted my next video, this video, to be about Sketch. He's very popular. For the algorithm's sake, people will likely see a Sketch thumbnail and click on it. However, Oh, so you a clock chaser. All right. That that's that's my main thing, bro. Is like, no, well, not not my main thing. First of all, truly, you shouldn't have a problem with this. It is surprising. It is something that, you know, has shock value and will catch you off guard because, hey, sketch having a gay OnlyFans is not on my fucking bingo board in twenty twenty four. Like the pictures I've been seeing, the videos I've been seeing have been crazy. Um. But in terms of looking at what's wrong with this, if this changes your mind on who Sketch is, um, and now you don't fuck with him because he had a gay OnlyFans, if you don't fuck with someone because they had a just an OnlyFans in general, that may be a different issue, but because he's gay, uh, I don't know what to tell you. That is the clear definition of being homophobic. Like, literally, <laughs> your, your viewpoint on him changes because... He's doing something else with his fucking mouth that you don't do. Like, I don't I don't know, bro. However, in doing my research for Sketch's personal belief system, I ran across the comment from user Red Warfus on Instagram who suggested Googling Jamie Marr HTXXX and Jamie Marr NSFW to quote see Sketch in his true form. You have to feel no pain for the four months, man. Appreciate you. content to be seen. In doing this, I discovered that before Sketch, Kylie Cox led a life of an LGBTQ plus adult content creator known as Jamie Marr HTXXX as well as the several other monikers related to it. I understand that that is a very serious claim that, again, can have very huge implications on his future. So, yes, we want to be certain that this person, Jamie Marr HTXXX, is Kylie Cox, who is Sketch. I mean, at the very base level, if you just look at the name, Jamie Marr HTXXX, or Jamie Marr TX, that would indicate to us that this person is in the Texas area, specifically Houston, which we know for a fact is where Kylie Cox, AKA Sketch, resides at as well. When we follow that name to Reddit, we get more confirmation that this person is indeed in Houston because in 2021, they posted several times looking for Houston area meetups. I, th I th also think this does kind of speak to um, the thing I've been talking about on stream where like you getting canceled kind of depends on the brain that you built prior to you getting canceled or I understand you shouldn't be getting canceled, but controversy, the reaction to controversy is based off of the brain that you built. And, like, up until this point, Sketch has built, like, this very PC, very family-friendly, everyone-loves-him brand. So, so something like this coming out is, like, absolutely insane. Like, if this came out for, I don't know, Andrew Tate, honestly, it would be equally insane. But, it just, like, it, it just depends on the community that you're in, you know what I'm saying? They also posted a handful of times promoting their content on Twitter. Now, when you follow the link to Twitter, fortunately or unfortunately, however you want to slice this, 
the account has been scrubbed from the internet. In fact, most things associated with Jamie Marr have been scrubbed from the internet, or at least attempted to have been scrubbed from the internet. Still, things remain. Things like a video in 2022 from Big DJ, who features Jamie Marr HTXXX. And looking at the screenshot here, we can see this person very closely resembles Kylie Cox or Sketch. I mean, most of which are, we're going to have to just go off visuals and referencing Jeez, bro. Jamie Marr. This uh, this is so violating if all this is true, Cox bro. And Jesus Christ, bro. But I do believe that is more than enough, especially paired with the fact that this character is in Houston, uh, Texas. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I can show this on Twitch, up. bro. Uh, most of the video content um, is way too explicit to share here on YouTube. I'm so a, you can't go through it. However, I don't even know if I can show this on Twitch, bro. You search yourself. A quick search. He's just showing more pictures, bro. He's just showing more pictures, one dog. One thing I can show is very edited down. This is crazy, pictures, man. Uh, the likes of which, one, show Jamie Marr wearing very distinctive blue rectangular glasses, which are identical to the ones that Sketch often wears, even as recently as uh, a month or so ago. Is this not revenge porn? Could you classify this as revenge porn chat? Especially if, like, the explicits are being shown or am I tripping? Again, most of it's cut out in this picture, but we can see the bottom of the it's rectangular frames really? that are blue okay. and the arms being a distinctive brown, perhaps a black color. Right, Again, cross reference right. with other pictures of Sketch. Those are the exact same glasses. Now, yes, people no, often put it have out. the same glasses or at least the same um, aura of glasses, but blue rectangular fl frames with colored arms is very unique. Connecting that with you know the, the very unique look of Sketch in the hometown of Sketch and the hometown of Jamie Marr. It's hard to chalk that up. You got on the same glasses. As coincidence only. Similarly, we have Jamie Marr wearing um, black wireframe glasses and a hairstyle that's also very similar to Sketch, a.k.a. Kylie Cox. So this is now two ways to connect Jamie Marr and Kylie Cox. The blue rectangular glasses, the black wireframe glasses, paired with the location-based matchmaking. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't show it's this very hard now. to just chalk Jesus it up Christ. as coincidence and maybe just... So happens Jamie Marr lives in the same place and wears the same glasses and hairstyle as Kylie Cox. All right. This is so more more evidence, more evidence. Let's just let's just move on to the next segment, bro. This is crazy. This is crazy. After this is really where I kind of got tripped up when I was thinking about how to write about this and, and create a video because I thought to myself, is all that I really have to say that Kylie Cox initially started out as a adult content creator? That's not super duper exciting. Yes, it's breaking news. It's new information, but. How does that really bolster the channel that I'm trying to create here? And, and oh my god, this motherfucker is a cloud chaser, bro. Really? Like he's he he doesn't even know the purpose of this video, what it's actually putting out to the world. He questioned why even making this video. The only reason he made this video and went under this investigative search. Is because of the fact he knew it was going to get clout off of it. Because he knew that this was going to go crazy on a timeline. And this would low-key ruin Sketch's career. It shouldn't. But this definitely changes motherfuckers' perception about Sketch, bro. I can't lie. Like, this this is some shit he will get cyberbullied about for a minute, bro. Like, nah. I do think that it is very important for online personalities to share things that they did online previously. Um... Why? 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 Like, lit literally, Sketch is not one of these, like, parasocial-ass streamers. He's not. If anything, I've criticized him in the past for not streaming enough, because all he does is hop on Madden for two to three hours and hop off. And that's all he did. And I'm like, yo, Sketch, if you really want to continue this, you're going to have to do more. Bro, you y'all are not entitled... To people's lives and histories just because they're a public figure? What? And, and I suppose they don't have to, but most times their previous life gets resurfaced and, and we have to talk about it, right? In conclusion, Kylie's journey from Jamie to Sketch mirrors the historical path that most actors took um, from social outcast to celebrity. And this is just the nature of online personas and how to navigate it. Hopefully, from this, we can learn how to explore your past digital identity and your new digital identity in this age of entertainment and online service. I ain't gonna lie, I, I knew this video was bullshit from the, the beginning and how he introed it. Like, he, he literally couldn't even, like, muster up 
the exact reasoning as to why he's making this video. He was never really confident on his stance. He just stumbled on this information, knew he was going to get clout off of it, and made the video and yapped for like 13 minutes about the history of actors and, and pornography to get his shit off, bro. I ain't going to lie. I'm going to hit you with a dislike. Um, and I ain't going to lie. If there's a block button, um, I'm, I'm going to block your ass. But this is, this is tough, bro. Because like I said earlier, man, like let's just say, let's just go with the allegations and say um, Sketch was gay or Sketch is gay. The whole idea of coming out is already such a scary thing to do. Um, and to take... And, and, you don't you don't know exactly why he hid all of this from the internet. And for you to take that power away from him to come out on his own terms when he's comfortable enough um is crazy. Especially especially in the way that this happened where insanely graphic photos and videos are just coming out left, right and sideways is crazy. And the fact that you knew how the internet was going to react to this even though you believe that this shouldn't affect them, is crazy as well. It just, it, it, it just is, bro. It just is. And the, it, I wouldn't even say one thing, but it, it would be one thing if this was uncalled, if this was called for. You know what I'm saying? Like, Sketch did some crazy shit. Now we gotta dig dirt on him because it's fuck Sketch. Sketch was probably just minding his own goddamn business yesterday um, and, and woke up to... To all of this on the timeline, bro. Like, nah, that's 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 insanely violating. That's insanely violating. Um, and if he's getting canceled for being gay too, though those who are switching up on sketch because he's gay, um Well, I, I guess we know your true colors. I guess we know your true colors. This is literally the definition of random dick suck. Like I if you look in the dictionary and look up the definition of random dick suck, it would be this situation right here. <laughs> it just, it just would, bro. Like, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, at this point, I am curious to see how this is gonna affect Sketch and his numbers and his, you know, perception on the internet. Because, again, up, up, up until this point. He was, like, very, very squeaky clean. 